Thomas. Um, just talk about you were here uh, as a freshman during some tough times. Uh, think about the Kennesaw State game a lot, um, and to see where this program has come uh, to this point today to have a chance to play for a Southern Conference title next week. Just talk about that. Um, it's just a blessing, you know. Um, like the guys who came into my class, we just had faith and we just kept working, and it's just uh, great to see our work um, come into light. Um, you know, it took a while, but I would say, like, it made us better people, you know, Be made us better men and better football players. How fun is it to play in this offense right now? Oh, yeah, it's, it's very fun. Like, I don't feel like it's as much that could stop us right now. We're hot, so we want to walk for next week. Looking at the – Coach, looking at the offensive numbers, um, an impressive day all the way around. Just talk about the – I think your quarterbacks combined to go uh, like 19 of 25, 26, something like that. So yeah. just talk yeah. about your quarterback play and just the offense in general. Well, uh, you know, obviously, Hamp, you got to give him a lot of credit. You know, first first collegiate start, he <laughs> hadn't played that much football. Obviously, big game a week ago. I uh, just can't say enough about him. Uh, and Darren both. You know, just so happy for Darren to be able to come in there and do those things we've seen him do and I know he can do. And uh, those guys have fed off each other well, you know, all year. Um, but, you know, we said all along, you know, if we, you know our passing game, just it, it's there. You know, we got the pieces in place. We've done a good job protecting. And it was just a matter of getting maybe a little more confidence with it. Um, you know, and I, – they were daring us to throw it. I mean, they were daring. I mean, they took the similar approach they had to the Citadel, you know, when they just shut them down and running the football. And, and uh, you know, we missed a couple early that we had a chance. Well, I know we even missed the, you know, I don't know if Darren could have made a better throw to, to Wayne on the deep ball. I don't know if he's made a better throw in practice, but it was just a great throw. And, uh, you know, we missed, uh, well, the linebacker tipped one. The similar play would came back and hit Devin for the big touchdown. So, you know, that, that's got to be a big part of who we are. You know, to, to win at the level we want to win at. And, I, you know, you guys heard me say it. We want to win the whole thing. And to do that, we've got to be really good in all phases of the game. And we can't turn every game into an inside drill. We want to do that. And I think we proved last week we could do it if we had to. Um, I just thought just a great, great team win. You know, really proud of our defense, how they played the second half, you know. We were close the first half. You know, we gave up a couple of explosion plays, which you'd rather not do. And, you know, and they were, you know, they, you knew they were going to roll the dice a little bit on the fourth downs, and they did. Um, but just proud of how they did that and how we responded really second half offensively and got to play a ton of kids. And so, I, you know, I've said all along we got two really good quarterbacks. And anybody that watches that can see that. And, uh, and we'll need them again to, to get where we want to get. Hamp, there was a play that you guys seemed to try a lot today where you had a, a back or a receiver kind of breaking open, not quite over the middle. I know Miller wasn't looking on one of them, and then you hit Abrams for the long touchdown pass with it. Just talk about that play. Was it something that you guys had seen specifically for this week? Yes, sir. So that play, we had seen several other teams hit, hit them with that play, and they hadn't made any adjustments. So we had a couple different ways of running that, that play, and we tried them all. And on the third time we finally hit it, we knew if we could hit it, it'd be a big play. And on that third third play, it was a touchdown. It was a great play call. Uh, Coach, talk about the takeaways, because uh, all three today kind of silenced their scoring opportunities. Yeah, they really were. Uh, I guess Darius got the first one for the half. You know, made a good little return. Uh, you know, and, and again, you know, we've taken the lead there, but you know, they they get it to about midfield, and uh, that that certainly was big. And then, and then, you know, Callie, these guys all know Callie Chizik, just kind of those guys at practice. He just keeps making plays and showing up, and we keep saying we got to find ways to get him in the game. And you know, he's a lot of our sub packages. He's in there. Obviously, he's done a great job back there. You know, it seems like it's been the year of the you know the rugby punts, and everything seems to be coming at him as a line drive bounce and. Uh, you know, he just hadn't had a ton of just traditional punts he could catch, but he's done a great job of that. Just made a great play. He was great in position and made the play there, which stopped the drive of theirs. And then, uh, you know, big tackle. It, it, was, it was fun to be able to pick up a fumble run with it for a little bit. We hadn't done that in a while, it seems like. But, 
and then you know, I guess we set up maybe set up the last score, uh, you know, after that one. So I mean that that's huge, you know. And then certainly, you know, when we can take care of the ball, it's just you know you, you hear it all the time. You're minus two or you're plus two in turnover. You know, if you're minus two in turnover, it is hard to win games. You know, it happens. It's hard to win games, and certainly, you know, be where we are. They hadn't turned it over. I think he threw his first pick last week, and it was a, it was an inside the ten yard line throw. Uh, so he just he just hadn't done it. He's been solid, you know, and and again, they're they're a good football team in a lot of ways. So and and they challenge us. They're challenged to prepare, you know, for. Um, I thought, you know, I didn't. We didn't practice very good on Tuesday, and I wasn't very happy. Uh, but I thought our kids came back Wednesday and really practiced well. Part of it was making the adjustments to, you know, a little bit more of a spread attack, obviously, and then and then even defensively, they 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 cause you some concerns. Uh, I had a friend I was talking to, and I told him that, and he said uh, he said, "Well, now you know how everybody feels about y'all when they're trying to prepare, you know, for your offense." And I said, "Well, yeah, because that's by design. I'm sure some of the things they do, and then they even changed a little bit more so today. So it took a little while to." to adjust what they were doing. Anybody else with this group? I got some time. I was to ask Hamper, what was your comfort level today? I mean, you, you got thrown in the ball game the, the week before, and then you knew you were going to go in to start today. Uh, I felt pretty comfortable. The coaches have done a great job throughout the year of, uh, like Coach Hendrick was saying, preparing two quarterbacks and getting a lot of reps in practice. And so um, I felt prepared because um, of practice preparation throughout the year. And then, just like I was saying earlier, having uh, some great skill players around me, it makes whoever's in there's job a, a whole lot easier. So um, it was a great week of practice after Tuesday. We had to um, really turn things around and finish practice strong. But it, it's definitely all in the, the practice throughout the week, the practice all year, makes you a lot more comfortable. And Adrian, uh, overall defensively, how do you feel about this team? And you face all kinds of different offenses. You're going to get a different one next week. I was, you talking about BMI, right? Yeah, I was just talking about overall, how do you feel about the defense, and you faced lots of different uh, offenses right. this year. Uh, one of the things we did today, well, was handle adversity. Early, I mean, the second quarter, we gave up some touchdowns, big plays, and we just came back. Then it, we bent it, but didn't break. I just think we did a great job of staying calm and playing good defense. Now, Coach, I know you want to enjoy it, but you got a big one coming up. <laughs> yeah, we do. I, I, I did tell him it's nice to be down to one, you know, so. You can, you can look ahead. You got one that you know. Obviously, it's a huge, huge football game for us, and uh, against a really good team. You know, so it'll it'll be a, you know, but that's we want to play in big games. You know, and uh, you know we kept our we kept our trend going. You know, third year in a row we've been here. You know, we're playing for the conference championship the last week of the season. That's where we want to be, and then you know playing meaningful games in November and. Uh, you know, and like I said, nothing else really matters but that. It, it is kind of nice to have a chance to, you know, focus 